This chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosives training prepares airmen for the possibility of chemical warfare. On the side of the temple straps, there's a plastic lac. It helps airmen prevent exposure from harmful agents in the air dispersed by munitions. It's important to know how to use seabird equipment because it's going to save your life. Some of the things that we go through in class are learning how to inspect the mask, inspecting the, the suit, post-attack reconnaissance, so how to set out M8 stands and how to cover an asset. Sergeant Zimmerman gives the tools needed to succeed by dividing his class into two separate post-attack reconnaissance teams. Airmen demonstrated what they've learned. You come across somebody with signs and symptoms of nerve agent poisoning, and they don't have their mask on, that would be the first thing to do is put their mask on. And then you're going to administer uh, an auto injector, make sure they don't have anything in their pocket. Airmen learned how to use mission-oriented protective posture gear, post-attack actions, and reporting guidelines to prepare them for real-world contingencies. Reporting from Mountain Home Air Force Base, Airman First Class, Haley Bivens.